Hey friends, this is the Miss Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead, and we're beefing up the security on the duck pen. We found out when the girls brought the ducks and the goslings, we fig we discovered that the raccoons had been lifting up the wire and just going right underneath it and I don't know how how he missed that but I've got a skirt now that I have really wired to this fence and when Wolfie gets home I'm gonna get him to make some fence nails out of long pieces of fence wire so that we can tack these right into the ground and then we're gonna put logs over top just to make sure I'm also going to get him to frame along the bottom of this door and all around it because that's another place they were getting in they were pulling up under here and uh we were looking up when the raccoons were coming in the bottom that's your babies mommy's gonna get you something to eat right now uh guys can you know we don't need the help thank you now that is going to work much much better now what i've got here folks I've got some metal tent pegs and I'm going to hammer the chicken wire and the fencing together right into the ground. All right, and Papa's putting two latches, one on the top and one on the bottom. Will you stop eating my package? Okay, I'm just taking these metal tent pegs and I'm putting them through the chicken wire and the fence because this is where they were getting in was along the bottom and under the door which you saw, Daddy. Fix. And once I get another one in here, I'm going to put a couple along here, and then we're going to put some logs down. Okay, here's the door, and Papa's put latches on the top and bottom, and they're, they're taut so that anything trying to get is not going to get under there because they're holding firm. Where the two pieces of the door meet, I've sewed up with florist wire, and Papa is using this really stout fence wire to sew up all the seams over top and around the edges. And my tent pegs, 12 were enough. I put six across holding, um, holding the fence in and the chicken wire together, and then I did six more along the edge of the fence wire they would have to dig a tunnel to get under as you can see Edna there was sticking her head through that wire so I'm going to do another chicken wire skirt along the outside I ran out of tent pegs but we have these garden stakes that are metal and how he's cut in half and I'm just going to bend them over and use those as stakes to stake it down I'm feeding the wire to daddy so we can sew all this chicken wire together. Do yourself a favor, folks. I know the two foot was all I could get my hands on at the time, but do yourself a favor, always buy four feet. He's done it with that seam, and now he's doing it with that one. He's gonna do it with that one, and all around the edge, too. Bob, are you helping? He likes you, they like your boots. I like my pants, too. So, we've put extra chicken, or fence nails in here, and this is the last seam and then we're going to go around the outside correct and way over there papa is wrapping the trunk of the tree with barbed wire and i've sewn all along the top there with uh wire I'm trying to get at you through the fence this uh old goat bell was given to me by my friend josie it's an antique but this is what's going to be hanging on the chicken wire in the pen. And I tried it from the porch and daddy could hear it very well. Wire it nice and loose so it shakes well. But with lots of wire, like double the wire. Oh yeah. What's that? Good job, Papa. Good job to you. Thank you. All right, I'm gonna go in and uh, do you need me for anything else? Did you finish along here? Yep. No, when I can finish up, I just gotta do a bit there and across that back. 
put some logs down and I'm done for the day. This is the Mrs. Wolfie and Papa Wolfie saying we've done everything we can. We've sewed up double seams. We've put bells on. We've put skirts on. The rest is up to God. Hi, the babies. Yes, you survived. You had a good night. Along with my chicken wire skirts here, Howie has uh, put lengths of log along here as well. This is the next day. I'm happy to report. See, my dog comes anywhere near the fence. And little Sonia, the, the middle goose there, she hisses and gets really ugly. Oh, he even put barbed wire up all around the top too, look. Much, much better setup.